Hello, in this demonstration I'm going to use Active Directory Group Policy Objects to configure a new feature in Windows 7 called App Locker. In App Locker today we are going to set up application permissions so all normal installed applications on a Windows 7 operating system will run and any added applications in the program files folder will run with the exception of regedit. Nobody will be able to run regedit except for the group policy creator owners group because they need to modify registry settings potentially on end users computers to manage those devices. In this demonstration I have a Windows Server 2008 Enterprise Active Directory environment running virtually in VMware Player and I also have Windows 7 Ultimate running virtually in VMware Player and my Windows 7 Ultimate computer already has the 2008 server remote server administration toolkit installed so I'm gonna launch the group policy management console I'll click start go to all programs go to administrative tools and then click on group policy management now the group policy management console is running and in the Group Policy Management Console, you'll see I've got a domain, Contoso.com. I also have my organizational unit infrastructure here. I also have the Group Policy Objects container. This is a default container which contains all of the policies in the domain. So I'm going to right click on Group Policy Objects and specify New. And I want this policy to be called App Locker. So we'll type in App Locker and we'll click on OK. I now have an App Locker policy, and if I right click the policy and left click on Edit, I've got a Group Policy Management Editor. So we want to configure App Locker for our Windows 7 computers. So in Computer Configuration, if I expand Policies and then expand Windows Settings and then expand Security Settings, I have down towards the bottom of the list application control policies. If I expand application control policies, I have App Locker. And when I expand App Locker, I've got three different rules. I have executable rules that'll manage applications based on the executable itself. I've got Windows installer rules, which would be Windows installer files and I've got script rules which are rules based on scripts things like BAT scripts, CMD scripts, uh, JS scripts so we'll go to executable rules and right now there are none if I right click executable rules and create default rules I now have three rules by default I've got two rules for everyone and one rule for administrators the first rule allows everyone the right to run all files located in the program files folder. The next rule allows everyone the right to run all files located in the Windows folder. And the third right allows administrators the ability to run all files. If I go to Windows installer rules, do the same thing. Right click, create default rules. I now have three rules again. Everyone is allowed to run all digitally signed Windows installer files. Everyone's allowed to run all Windows installer files in the percent system drive percent which is the Windows folder and then Windows installer. And then administrators are allowed to run all Windows installer files. If I go to script rules right click script rules left click on create default rules I have the same thing everyone is allowed to run all scripts located in the program files folder everyone is allowed to run all scripts located in the Windows folder and administrators are allowed to run all scripts so basically what we've done so far is everybody is allowed to run programs that exist in either the program files folder or the Windows folder as well as install programs or run scripts that exist in program files or in the Windows folder. 
So we need to add our exception so nobody can run regedit. So to do this, we need to go to executable rules and then go to the allow everyone rule that allows all files located in the Windows folder and we need to right click that and then left click on properties. Once we're in the properties dialog box, if we click the exceptions tab, we can now add an exception. So we'll click on add and I can type in the path for regedit, but I prefer to browse that way I eliminate typos. So I'm going to browse the C drive and then double click on Windows and scroll down to regedit. And I'll click the open button. And now I am excluding Windows regedit.exe. So if I click on OK and click on OK again, I now have allowed all users to run programs located in the Windows folder with the exception of regedit. But we're not done yet. We need to also set it up so the group policy creator owners group has the ability to run regedit because right now the group policy creator owners don't have the ability to run regedit. We've taken that away from them with our exception. So if we right click on executable rules, left click on create new rule, we get a before you begin page which you may want to read and then click next. It's got general information and we need to allow the group policy creator owners group. So I'm going to click select and change everyone to group policy creator owners and then we'll click OK and now we're allowing the group policy creator owners and we'll click next and we're going to allow them to run a path location which is C colon Windows regedit and we'll click next and now we have to either type the path in or browse for files I like browsing because then I don't spell things wrong. So I'll double click on Windows again, double click on regedit, click on next. So we come back to the exceptions page and our primary condition is up there. So we'll click on next and we will create. And we have now created an exception for the group policy creator owners group to run regedit even though we've taken it away from everyone in our previous exception. So this is a general demonstration on how to use the App Locker feature which is new with Windows 7 or 2008 Server R2. You can do this for any application on your computer but it is recommended to start out with no access to any application and then only allow access to those applications that are intended to run in your business environment. This concludes our demonstration on how to use AppLocker in group policy objects located within Active Directory. This is BrickHouseLabs.com and thank you very much for watching.